Hello everybody, today in this lecture we will study about cryptographic standards. Standards have been divided into six categories, international standards, banking security standards, international security architecture, US government FIPS that is federal information processing standards, internet standards and wireless standards. Cryptographic standards have significant impact on the use of cryptography in practice. Cryptographic standards serve two important goals, facilitating widespread use of well accepted cryptography techniques and promoting interoperability between components involving security mechanisms in various systems. Now, let us first discuss international standards in cryptographic techniques. The International Organization for Standardization ISO and International Electrotechnical Commission IEC developed standards individually and jointly in the area of cryptography. Table shows selected ISO and IEC standards on cryptographic techniques. As shown, ISO 8372 is standard published in 1987, which specifies the four well known modes of operation of a block cipher, which are ECB electronic code book, CBC cipher block chaining, CFB cipher feedback and OFB output feedback. ISO and IEC 9796 standard specifies a generic mechanism for digital signature schemes giving message recovery. The main part of the standard is a redundancy scheme intended to be generically applicable to a large class of signature schemes. Although this standard is specifically designed to preclude attacks on schemes such as RSA and Rabin, which have a multiplicative property. Now, ISO and IEC 9797 standard defines a MAC message authentication code based on the CBC mode of operation of a block cipher. Similar to the MAC algorithm of ISO 8731 part 1, ISO 9807, NCX 9.9 and NCX 9.19. In ISO and IEC 9798, parts subsequent to the introduction of this standard specify entity authentication mechanisms based on symmetric encryption algorithm as 9798 part 2, public key signature algorithm as 9798 part 3, a cryptographic check function or MAC as 9798 part 4 and other customized techniques as 9798 part 5. The mechanisms use timestamps, sequence numbers and random numbers as time variant parameters. Now, ISO and IEC 9979 standard specifies procedures allowing certain entities to register encryption algorithms in an official ISO register of such algorithms. The standard specifies the formats required 
for such register entries and registration results in the assignment of a unique identifier to each algorithm. Now, ISO and IEC 10116 standard specifies the same four modes of block cipher operation as ISO 8372, but allows journal n bit block ciphers. It also provides greater detail regarding various properties of the modes and sample calculations based on DES. Next is ISO and IEC 10118, which is a multi part standard on cryptographic hashing algorithm. 10118 part 1 specifies common definitions and journal requirement. Part 2 specifies two generic constructions based on n bit block ciphers. This draft standard part 3 includes customized algorithms like SHA 1, RIPEMD 128 and RIPEMD 160 and part 4 includes modular arithmetics MASH 1 and MASH 2. Moving on to ISO and IEC 11770 multi part standard addresses generic key management and specifies key establishment mechanisms. 11770 part 1 is a key management framework and overview. 11770 part 2 specifies key establishment mechanisms based on symmetric techniques, whereas part 3 specifies key establishment mechanisms based on asymmetric techniques. ISO and IEC 13888 multi part standard addresses non repudiation services like protection against false denial related to the transfer of a message from an originator to a recipient. Part 1 of this draft provides a non repudiation model and overview. Part 2 specifies mechanisms involving symmetric techniques, whereas part 3 specifies mechanisms involving asymmetric techniques and the use of digital signatures. ISO and IEC 14888 multi part standard addresses schemes for signatures with NCX 9.30 part 1 standard. Its part 1 provides common definitions and a journal overview. Part 2 addresses identity based signature mechanism and part 3 addresses certificate based mechanisms wherein this public key is explicitly specified. So, these were international cryptographic standards. Now, let us move on to banking security standards. Banking security standards have been developed by NC, American National Standards Institute and ISO, International Organization for Standardization. Banking security standards are typically divided into wholesale and retail banking. NC develops standards through various ACS accredited standards committees. Accredited committees include ASC X3 for information processing systems and ASC X9 for financial services. Table shows selected NC encryption and banking security standards developed under X3 and X9 as shown.
NCX 3.92 standard specifies the DES algorithm which NC standards refer to as the DEA data encryption algorithm. X 3.92 is technically the same as FIPS 46. NC X 3.106 standard specifies DES modes of operation or DEA modes of operation as referred to in NC standards. X 3.106 is technically the same as FIPS 81. NC X 9.8 standard addresses pin management and security. NC X 9.9 standard specifies a DES based MAC message authentication code algorithm for wholesale banking. NC X 9.17 standard which was the basis for ISO 8732 specifies manual and automated symmetric methods for wholesale banking key management including key establishment techniques and protection of keys in key management facilities. NC X 9.19 standard specifies a DES based MAC message authentication code algorithm for retail banking. NC X 9.23 standard addresses message formatting and representation issues related to the use of DES encryption in wholesale banking transactions. These include field delimiting and padding as well as filtering methods required to prevent ciphertext bit sequences from interfering with communication protocols when inadvertently interpreted as control characters. NC X 9.24 standard specifies manual and automated methods for retail key management addressing authentication and DES based encryption of pins, keys and other data. NC X 9.26 standard specifies two main classes of entity sign on authentication mechanisms. The first involves user passwords, the second involves cryptographic keys used in DES based challenge response protocols. NC X 9.28 standard extends X 9.17 to allow the distribution of keying material between subscriber nodes who neither share a common key nor share a key with a common central server. NC X 9.30 suit of NC public key standards X 9.30 part 1 and X 9.30 part 2 specify DSA and SHA for the financial services industry. NC X 9.31 standard part 1 specifies a signature mechanism based on an RSA signature algorithm and standard X 9.31 part 2 defines hash function for use with part 1 including MDC 2. NC X 
NC X 9.42 standard specifies several variations of unauthenticated DEFI Hellman key agreement providing shared symmetric keys for subsequent cryptographic use. NC X 9.45 standard employs a particular type of attribute certificate called an authorization certificate to allow a party to determine whether a received message or signed document is authorized with respect to relevant rules or limits or not. NC X 9.52 standard for encryption offers improvement over DES security by specifying a number of modes of operation for triple DES encryption. NC 9.55 standard specifies extensions to the certificate definitions of NC X 9.57 standard. NC X 9.57 certificate management standard includes both technical specifications defining public key certificates for electronic commerce and business controls necessary to employ this technology. Now, let us move on to banking security standards given by ISO. ISO banking security standards are developed under the ISO technical committee TC 68 for banking and related financial services. TC 68 subcommittees include TC 68 SC 2 for wholesale banking security and TC 68 SC 6 for retail banking security and smart card security. Table 3 shows the list of selected ISO banking security standards. W indicates wholesale and R indicates retail. As shown in table, wholesale banking ISO 8730 standard together with ISO 8731, a standard for MAC message authentication code algorithm forms the international equivalent of NC X 9.9. ISO 8731 standard specify particular MAC algorithm complementary to the companion standard ISO 8730. Part 1 of 8731 specifies a DES based CBC MAC with M equal to 32 whereas part 2 specifies the MAA message authenticator algorithm. ISO 8732 standard for key management in wholesale banking was derived from NC X 9.17 and is its international equivalent. ISO 9564 standard specifies minimum measures for the management and security of PIN personal identification number. ISO 9807 standard for message authentication in retail banking is analogous to NC X 9.19 but does not address data representation issues. ISO 10126 multi part standard is the international equivalent of X 9.23 which addresses the confidentiality protection of 
financial messages. ISO 10202 8-part standard addresses security architecture issues for integrated circuit cards used for financial transactions. In particular, ISO 10202 part 7 specifies key management aspects. ISO 11131 standard for sign on authentication is the international known DES specific standard analog of NCX 9.26. ISO 11166 multi-part standard specifies key management asymmetric techniques for distributing keys for symmetric algorithms. It was developed from ISO 8732 which uses symmetric techniques only. Part 1 specifies general principles, procedures and formats whereas, part 2 specifies the RSA algorithm for both encipherment and digital signatures. ISO 11568 multi part standard addresses retail key management and life cycle issues. It is originated from X 9.24 but is generalized for international use and addresses both symmetric and public key techniques. So, these were various banking security standards. Now, let us move on to international security architectures and frameworks. Table shows the list of selected ISO and IEC standard on security framework and architectures. As shown in ISO 7498 part 2, the OSI basic reference model of ISO 7498 defines a communication protocol stack with seven layers, application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link and physical layers. However, ISO 7498 part 2 specifies the security architecture for the basic reference model including the placement of security services and mechanisms within these layers. ISO and IEC 9594 part 1 it defines both simple authentication techniques based on passwords and so called strong authentication techniques based on secret values. Next, ISO and IEC 10181 specification is a series of security framework intended to provide context and background consisting of security framework overview, authentication framework, access control framework, non-repudiation framework, confidentiality framework, integrity framework, security audit and alarms framework. So, now after framework architecture, let us move on to US government federal information processing standard. These are publicly announced standards developed by the United States federal government for use in computer systems by all non-military government agencies and by government contractors when properly invoked and tailored on a contract. The purpose of FIPS is to ensure that all federal government and agencies adhere to the same guidelines. 
regarding security and communication. Table as shown lists selected security related FIPS federal information processing standard publications. These are developed under the NIST National Institute of Standard and Technology for use by US federal government departments. As shown in table FIPS 46 standard specifies the DES algorithm. FIPS 74 standard provides guidelines for implementing and using DES. FIPS 81 standard specifies four basic DES modes of operation. FIPS 112 standard provides guidelines on password management and usage. FIPS 113 standard specifies the customary DES based CBC MAC algorithm referred to as the DAA data authentication algorithm. FIPS 140 part 1 standard specifies security requirements for the design and implementation of cryptographic modules for protecting unclassified information including hardware, firmware, software modules and combination thereof. FIPS 171 specifies for use by US federal government department a subset of the key distribution techniques of NC X 9.17. The objective of specifying a subset is to increase interoperability and decrease system cost. FIPS 180 and 180 part 1 hash algorithm specified in the original standard FIPS 180 is the SHA secure hash algorithm and revised version SHA1 was specified shortly thereafter in FIPS 180 part 1. FIPS 185 encryption standard specifies the parameters for use with the clipper key escrow system. FIPS 186 standard is the DSS digital signature standard which specifies the DSA digital signature algorithm. FIPS 196 standard on entity authentication using asymmetric techniques was derived from the 2 pass and 3 pass random number based mechanism. Now, after FIPS, let us move on to Internet Security Standards and RFCs. Documents called RFCs request for comment are official working notes of the Internet Research and Development Community. Table shows the list of selected security related Internet RFCs. The hashing algorithm MD2, MD4 and MD5 are specified in RFC 13192-1321. The Internet PEM privacy enhanced mail specification are given in RFC 14212-1424. The GSS API generic security service application program interface is given in RFC 1508 which is a high level security API and isolates application code from implementation details. Specific implementation mechanisms Kerberos V5 network authentication 
is given in RFC 1510 for symmetric based techniques and SPKM for public key based techniques. RFC 1828 specifies a method for using keyed MD5 as a MAC. MOS that is MIME object security services make use of the RFC 1847 framework of multi part signed and multi part encrypted MIME messages and facilitates encryption and signature services for MIME including key management based on asymmetric techniques. RFC 1848 defines MOS in RFC 1847. RFC 1938 specifies an authentication technique based on Lamport's one time password scheme. Now, after internet security standards, let us move on to PKCS that is public key cryptographic standards. In cryptography, PKCS is a group of public key cryptography standards devised and published by RSA Security Incorporation started in early 1990s. The company published the standards to promote the use of the cryptography techniques to which they had patents such as the RSA algorithm, the Snore signature algorithm and several others. A suit of specifications called PKCS has parts as listed in table shown. As shown in table, PKCS 1 is RSA cryptography standard, PKCS 2 is withdrawn, PKCS 3 is Defi Hellman key agreement standard, PKCS 4 is withdrawn, PKCS 5 is password based encryption standard, PKCS 6 is extended certificate syntax standard and PKCS 7 is cryptographic message syntax standard. PKCS 8 is private key information syntax standard, PKCS 9 is selected attribute types, PKCS 10 is certification request standard, PKCS 11 is cryptographic token interface, PKCS 12 is personal information exchange syntax standard, PKCS 13 is elliptic curve cryptography standard, PKCS 14 is pseudo random number generation and PKCS 15 is cryptographic token information format standard. So, these were public key cryptographic standards. Now, let us move over to wireless security standards, WEP that is wired equivalent privacy is a security algorithm for IEEE 802.11 wireless networks. Introduced as part of the original 802.11 standard ratified in September 99, its intention was to provide data confidentiality comparable to that of a traditional wired network. Further, in 2003, the Wi-Fi Alliance announced that WEP has been superseded by WPA that is Wi-Fi protected access. In 2004, WPA was upgraded to WPA2 also called as 802.11i. So, friends, in this lecture, we covered cryptographic standards. Firstly, we discussed international standards followed by banking security standards, 
international security architecture, US government federal information processing standards, internet standards and in last wireless standards were discussed. Thank you.